Hello, welcome back. Uh, this little video is about a TR7 engine and it's not a very well TR7 engine. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you must, give me a thumbs down. Comments below or email me churchhouseclassics, it's all one word at gmail.com. Uh, link to my website is at the top of my profile page uh, on YouTube but if you're watching on the telly as I understand quite a few of you do church house classics it's all one word dot co dot uk that's my website it's not a huge amount on there really it's just an introduction page and I'm going to be updating that soon but YouTube is really my core channel here if you fancy supporting the channel or my time to maintain this channel or even just buy me a pint thank you very much uh, then there's a little linky down here for a PayPal me link Thank you very much to everyone that's donated towards the channel or bought me beer. I like beer. Anyway, enjoy the video. So the customer bought the car um, a, a fair while ago. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when, five to ten years ago or so, add down here. Um, and it overheated on the way home. Um, and uh, it turned out it was a stripped water pump gear. Um, it used to be quite a common problem. There was a whole world of uh, dodgy parts that were being circulated, uh, distributed by various suppliers. Um, and the problem was that the skew gear on the water pump wasn't hardened properly. And because of that, it kind of tore itself to bits during operation and then also destroyed the track shaft just for shits and giggles. Uh, and that's what's happened in this particular case. Uh, so the customer installed a new jack shaft or sorry a refurb jack shaft and a new water pump um, and then that's when it started making this noise uh, customer got fed up with it all lobbed it in the garage uh, and left it and then contacted me more recently so while diagnosing this problem um, I just went through a fairly logical step let's start with the cheapest things first the easiest things first and then move, move our way up um, so it really started out with just addressing, listening, I guess, to the block, listening to the the area where there may be a problem, listening to the customer as to what he changed last. What was the last thing you changed before this started making noise? And it was the jack shaft and the water pump, but also the timing chains and the tensioner would have all been off. So while diagnosing this problem, um, I just went through a fairly logical step. Let's start with the cheapest things first, the easiest things first the move, move our way up um, so it really started out with just addressing listening I guess to the block listening to the the area where there may be a problem listening to the customer as to what he changed last what was the last thing you changed before this started making noise and it was the jack shaft and the water pump but also the timing chains and the tensioner would have all been off so thought let's have a look um, so in order to get uh, the, the timing cover off the front of the car is fairly straightforward. So the viscous fan on this thing was knackered as well, which I thought might have been making the noise, but it wasn't. Um, so the viscous fan came off, the crank pulley came off, the timing cover came off, the engine started. I got a nice stripe of black oil down my face um, because when the engine started on choke, it went to about three and a half thousand RPM, clack, 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 and just sprayed oil all over me. Great fun proper comedy moments it's like a real pie in the face moment next it's fairly easy just by undoing the inlet manifold um as well eight bolts to get the inlet manifold off a tr7 three bolts to get the uh, the, the uh, water pump cover off and then just lifted the water pump out uh, they never come out with the cage intact don't worry about that uh, but the water pump came out um and started the engine up with the inlet manifold back on and i swear that engine did not make any noise at all. So we thought, well, this is weird. Maybe there is um, some play in the front jack shaft, jack shaft joint. Um, so then I took all the chains and everything, bearing in mind the customer would have taken the chains off in order to replace the jack shaft. So took the chains off, took the guides off, took the tensioner off, checked everything out. Um, it's roll-on tensioner and um, an unbranded chain which I'm never happy with that sort of shit but took it all apart put it all back together again um, and it started and this is the point where I think it made no noise 
but I didn't video it. Silly me. Too busy concentrating on it. Should have videoed it because you would have heard then that there was no bloody noise. Um, we tried all manner of things like, you know, when we were cranking over, um, as it was cranking over at cam speed, it was going tick every now and then. Tick. At, at cam speed, fairly regular. So I didn't really understand it. I thought maybe it is the water pump. Maybe it's the mesh with the water pump. Then I got bogged down with the mesh pattern on the water pump. When I've checked two other water pumps since then, both come from Stags, and they've got exactly the same mesh pattern. Really weird. Anyway, so I assume that the mesh pattern is normal. So I went off, rebuilt the water pump, got it all fixed, went back, installed the water pump, um, and it went clack, 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 clack. You bastard. Spent all Sunday fucking around with this thing, taking the chains off again, resetting everything, doing this, that, and the other. Took the water pump and the jack shaft out of the engine, and the idea was I was going to talk to um, Rob Sport um, just to see if they had any ideas. I got a short video of the engine making the noise, and their initial interpreting, well, their initial feeling was that's not well, that is not a well engine. Um, but again, fairly convinced that that engine didn't make it that noise when the water pump was out so stop we've got fuel pissing out here somewhere yeah so the hoses we do the other one to the from the copper pipe to the pump as well, do you think? Uh, does it look that? does it look as nice as these ones? It looks just as shite. Oh well, I love a TR7. British, British Leyland. <laughs> there we go. Bit, bit of new fuel lineage. Fuel lineage always helps. No dipstick in. I need a big car, this is too small, small now. Dipstick's out here. Uh, will that throw oil around? No. Uh, I've got no battery. Ah, oh, should we put the battery on? Oh, did you take it off? Is it? I disconnected it when we had fuel pissing around all over the place. God, you safety conscious madman. I oh, know, tell me about it. Right. Okay, I've got lights. Choke is on. Bottle is open. Clamp off. Stop! Rattling. And also, we got fuel pissing out. I didn't do that clip up. No, I didn't. Well, <laughs> neither of us did. Neither of us did that clip up. <laughs> All right, okay, fire extinguisher. Out. Okay, right, well, we, we, we shall reconnect. <laughs> Clear prop. Okay. Choke on, ignition on, stand by. Choke off. No, don't worry for long, Jim. We'll have to get, I think the timing cover needs to come off again. Okay. Took the chains off, reset the chains. Chain is an unbranded jobby with tight links on it. So we're gonna change that at some point. Uh, but the, not convinced that the tensioner was done up properly first time round. So, just re-tensioned. Now, I'm gonna give it another go. Reset. Yeah. Still not good. Cheers. Oh, I reckon it's coming from here. Coming from the middle of the cam shop. Right, okay, kill it then. So that's a jack shaft then. I think jack shaft needs to come out. Yeah. So you've heard the noise. The thing runs well, but it's that, that clack, 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 clack noise. Now, when I was listening to it earlier on, uh, the clack, 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 clack noise was coming from this up here, coming from this sort of area. We've obviously got the lay shaft that runs through, um, and it drives the distributor, the fuel pump, and the water pump. Um, and I'm not entirely convinced that there isn't a problem with the lay shaft, or jack shaft, or whatever you want to call it, uh, the jack shaft. Uh, reset the timing chains um, as per the book 
the chain itself is not the best. Um, it's unbranded. Let's get the chain out without knocking everything else over. So the chain itself has got, kind of got, if we go from the horizontal, bear in mind this is a rebuilt engine, it's kind of got that much drop to it. And also, there are sticky teeth on him. So every now and then you come across, as, you, as you're wibbling around, you find a sticky tooth. It doesn't, the chain doesn't stretch out properly. There's one down there. Still there. So that's not ideal. So we're going to change the chain. But I thought if we're doing that, uh, we need to get the jack shaft out. So uh, we haven't got any Imperial Allen keys here. I should have come a bit more prepared, but I wasn't really planning on getting the jack shaft out. And of course the key, the key plate under here is held in with uh, two Allen keys. Um, and uh, yeah, that's that. A pain in the ass. It really is. I've put a new bush in the bottom there. That's not helped it. Um, yeah, it's a funny one really. But the only thing that the customer did about five years ago was to replace the jack shaft with the used item and also replace the water pump with a new item, allegedly. But, you know, having disassembled that water pump, which has done less than a thousand miles, um, the top seal and the oil seal in it were very old. So I don't quite know what's going on there. Anyway, he's going to go through his paperwork and just double check everything. Um, yeah, and apart from that, Kushti. So we've got the original jack shaft back in there. No water pump at all, no cover, it's sitting up here. And we're gonna see if the noise definitely does not occur when uh, when we are running without the water pump. Let me just wh whiz this bolt, one more bolt here up. Just see that one's loose there. I haven't got all the bolts. I'm holding the inlet manifold on. Um, hang on a sec, we need a uh, piece of power. Bit of power. We'll take the red black cap off. Take the cap off, we'll put it on just in case. Just in case of, right now this this box. Make sure you're out of gear as well. It might not start because the ignition's all over the place. <laughs> That's not encouraging. That's rattling, isn't it? That's the shaft. That didn't do that last time. It's not the pump, then, is it? It's not the pump. Again? Yeah, don't run it for long though. I just want to find out roughly where the noise is coming from. Might have to take, actually, just one, one second before you do that. Yeah. Uh, ignition off. It's off. I'm going to take the front timing cover off. Okay. And I think we're ready. Okay, clear from. <laughs> right, the in. The old light went out. The old light went out, it's good. And again. Choking on. Now off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the oil lubrication is working. The chain tension is working. Should have put a cloth in here, shouldn't we? Did it? Mistake we made last time. I think if you can get another jack shaft tomorrow, I think that becomes our last option on this. Because okay. I think we're, um, we, we, what I don't understand about that is, we definitely had that water pump out and it I definitely did, did not make the noise. I thought you were right. And now it's done. making the noise. Yeah. Sorry about that, chat. Sorry. You won't rust now, will it? Nor will I. <laughs> Thank you.